Kansas City Manager and Sporting Director Peter Vermees. Our first question will go to Daniel Sperry with the Kansas City Star. Hey, Peter. Um, just, just how bad was or how big was that uh, the red card uh, there to, to kick off the second half, and how much did that affect things for you? Uh, yeah, it was. It was. Uh, it obviously put us in a big hole. We do a great job to get back a goal, um, and we're defending very well. The guys, we're doing everything. And 86 minute, Kyrie has the ball, gets fouled, 100 percent foul. I mean, how you miss it, I don't know. 100 percent emphatic, 100 percent foul. He's facing his goal. Guy comes to the side, takes both his legs out from under him. I wish I had the. I wish I had a video I could show you. 100 percent foul, and then they go down. The, they go down the field, and that's where they get their goal from. The fact that he doesn't call it, 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 it blows me away. But he's but he's quick to throw this, the the second yellow for Ori. Just again, if, if you you want to call that, great, call it. You, you call that, and you got to call the other. Complete miss, absolute one hundred percent miss on the referee's position. Emphatic one hundred percent foul on Kyrie Shelton, and he doesn't get it. And I know the difference. The difference is, is Kyrie's not a DP, and and Gill is, and that's the difference in the game. That's the difference on the fouls. And then uh, halftime, you made both center back substitutions. Uh, yep. uh, where what was the reasoning behind that? Because I didn't like the the way the goal got scored in the first half, and I also didn't like the way we were coming out of the back with the ball. So I made the change, and I thought those guys actually did a really good job. We were back in the game, and then unfortunately, we get the second yellow so early in the half that couldn't even take advantage of it. But um, again, I said I, I say it again. I thought I thought the guys did a good job in the second half when we went down a man. Um, the fact that you missed that call right there that leads to the goal, it's and it's a simple foul. He's he's already put us in the hole with the second yellow, but the fact that he misses that is is it's it's unacceptable to me. Peter Johnny scores his goal from the free kick, and then from that moment on, at least through the second hydration break, Sporting KC looked like they were maybe the, the team up a man. So what did you think of the team's response? Yeah, we, we like I said, I, I thought we played very very well. We we definitely did not get what we deserved in the game in regards to getting a, leaving the game with a point. We didn't get it, and and I and I and I put the blame on on missing that foul. I really do. I put the blame on that because our guys are playing. They're playing the game. That's fair. You you you've already set the tone of what a foul is and what isn't. Taking both his legs out right there, it leads it leads to the goal. It changes it changes everything. Sad for the guys because eighty six. It's it's exactly on the eighty six minute it happens. Uh, a little more on the positive side. Zeus comes back from injury, plays majority of the game. What can you say about you know having yeah, a veteran I, I, leader? Yeah, he played very well. I didn't want to. I didn't want to have to extend him as long as I had to. I really didn't. I had a bunch of subs, but then didn't plan on Remy getting injured as well. So it just it, you know, to be fair, we just don't have a lot of guys to to, to put in the game, and it's it, it, it's you know yeah, they're substitutes, but they don't play any of the positions that that the guys are going down in. And so now all of a sudden it's completely changing things. And then, you know, it's hard to move the guys around. We, you know, we came into the game without any center forwards. I mean, we had to play a false nine with Felipe in the whole first, you know, we, we, we were trying to play the whole first half and then maybe give Kai 45. But to him as well, he had to play, he had to play way too much today. Just, just tough. And then at halftime, uh, Taylor Twelman put out news about two transfers, uh, Eric Tommy and uh, another striker from Israel. Is there anything you can add or confirm to his reports on any of that? Yeah, I can't talk about any of that stuff until, you know, we have something done with anyone. So I, w I wouldn't comment. And then just you mentioned being shorthanded in general. You've got – sounds like you've got replacements on the way. You've talked about adding in the window. Just – even if you had Daniel and Marinos Tionis for to, at, a, at your disposal today, do you think the result maybe goes differently as well? Ah, it, change, it changes immensely for sure. Yeah, change, we have we have we have guys that play in the positions where we need help right now. We're moving too many guys around. I mean, Cam Duke's doing a great job everywhere he gets put on the field. He's he's working. He's he's dangerous. But you know, w like for me to have to play Roger ninety minutes today, too much. You know, too much. Graham played. Whatever, eighty some odd minutes, same too 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 much time. Uh, you touched on it there. I was going to ask about Cam Duke playing on the left wing. That's not his natural position. He was giving them fits all day through that left side. Just your thoughts on his performance? Yeah, he was very good. Uh, I actually wish in the first half he wouldn't have passed to, to Felipe and just took taken on uh, Gonzalez himself because he would have went right past him, no doubt. It would have been one on one with the keeper, but um, he was very good, excellent. Yeah, he was very good. Yeah, like you just said, uh, Coach, with. Um 
with Cam, he did great. And also with Felipe, Felipe it looked like a good duo there. Do you think you'll like to see them go play together more forward? Well, if we, if we don't get anybody back from injury, yeah, they could be playing there the rest of the season. I mean, we, again, it's, it's not their, it's not their places, but we can't, Cam for sure has played in our academy and he's played right back. He's played winger and, and central midfield. So, um, but he did a good job there today. Peter, thank you for the time. Thanks.